What is up everybody, all right here, back with some more Deep Rock Galactic Survivor and the new update with weapon masteries and anomaly challenges. Today, as, as mentioned before in the previous videos, I have been leveling some of these weapons up to level three and some of the class mod masteries to level three. This one we just completed a run with on video. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to get most of these to level three and then for the video content, we're gonna do Hazard 5. So that way we're getting the full complete Hazard 5 runs. You're gonna witness me beating it for the first time. And we're gonna do that for most of the masteries. Part of the reason we're doing that is because one, it's super challenging. And two, it gives me something to do offline. I can play this game offline and not have to worry about recording content. And I get meta progression upgrades since I'm getting those reactor cores while I play the game so I can slowly get back to maximum strength again. So today we're going to do weapon mastery and we're going to come down and we're going to run uh, the LMG platform, the LMG gun platform. Uh, I did level this up to hazard three with seven damage, 7% reload. It was incredibly easy on hazard three. So I'm hoping <laughs> that gives me some confidence going into hazard five for this run we'll see uh i i don't quite know but we are going to run the maintenance worker i haven't upgraded any of the any of the class any of the class mods for this if i do struggle with this then maybe i'll work on trying to get the maintenance worker so we can get some bonuses for him but you can see i love how they add these down at the bottom we get the plus seven percent damage and plus seven percent reload and i think i do get some bonuses for being on on crystalline caverns uh it doesn't show because we don't actually select that map since it auto picks it for us but this is what we're gonna do what is that gap right there that's a huge gap so with this weapon, what I found kind of works is we're going to do reload speed. Um, what I found kind of works is getting, I think, probably plasma. Plasma upgrade is really good for this, but I also wouldn't mind getting the turrets to follow me around. Uh, generally, I don't really build that when I do this um, when I do this weapon because we have other guns and I think most of the time it's just better to have my turrets sit there and just rack up damage but for this run since this is literally our only weapon uh it is nice to have the turret following me around this gun has a crazy amount of overclocks though i think this weapon has the most overclocks in the game so it's definitely not going to be easy to to get plasma and <laughs> and have them follow me around. So the odds of getting that are probably slim to none, but we'll see. They still don't, they don't allow us to reroll overclocks. Maybe they will someday. Uh, once they start adding more overclocks into the game, maybe that'll come eventually too. I'm gonna take the pickled nitra. Uh, that's gonna be, that's gonna be really, really important for us. I will take the paint job too, because I do want to rush overclocks. Um, originally, I didn't think it was that important, uh, but after playing a little bit more, I do think it is good to rush overclocks a little bit more, because uh, this is our only weapon, and getting the overclocks is incredibly good. Um, I don't want electrical, so we'll just do the extra turret. I do really want to save up for plasma. I would much, much rather have plasma. I don't really like taking the extra turrets, but out of those options, I guess, um, I could have salvaged it too if I really wanted to. But I don't think for this particular build, I don't think it's that bad getting an extra turret. The only problem is, is it's just hard to hold still long enough to really drop all my turrets to make it useful. That's kind of why I don't really build that too much. But it's a whole new game. It's a whole new ball game when you only have one weapon. So who knows what what works best? See, so right here, having that extra turret is incredibly useful. Just dropping five turrets right there at my gap. The one entrance. Pickled Nitra, I think, is super important too for these builds. Um, I do think, <laughs> I do think it's an insta pick no matter what. Screw the slow movement speed. Only having one weapon on hazard five, it's 
It's tough, even with the stronger weapons. See, so right now it's hard. It's hard for me to just sort of stand still and just make sure I'm dropping everything. Let's do damage. Yeah, let me drop all that. Let's go get a little bit of health upgrades, and while I'm doing that, I will stop and drop all my turrets. This is gonna be the only part about being the only bad part about being slow. But getting the extra 100% damage, it's huge for these You're runs. You're so much more dependent on your overclocks for these runs too. So for instance, if I get bad overclocks for this run, it's gonna make it a lot harder. If I get bad artifacts, it's gonna make it a lot harder. We can, I can, I can deal with bad overclocks and bad artifacts in a normal game. As, if, as long as like, as long as I have four weapons to get me through the game that I'm leveling up and making strong, you know, something's gonna be good enough to carry you through the game. Uh, usually you're gonna be powerful enough, but in runs like this, where you only have one weapon and three artifacts, really, maybe four, if you get uh, the the bug destroyer, if you get three really bad artifacts, whew. Ooh, good luck. The slow speed is definitely kind of hurting me here. See, I can't I can't stop and drop my mines at this point, or not my, not my mines, my turrets. Let's do that. Uh, dang, no plasma. Okay, but we're going to do the follow around. Then I'm going to do this. I am glad to see the follow me around because that'll help a lot with all the enemies on me. It'll it'll kind of make sure I'm doing damage to the bugs in my vicinity. But we're also in trouble because I took a lot of damage. Oh, move speed. Let's go. 9%. That feels like nothing. Does it feel like I'm moving 9% faster? <laughs> it sure as heck doesn't. What's my negative nine right now? I wish I would have looked to see what I was at before. The, yeah, okay, negative four now. Okay. Let's try to get that back up to the positive. I'm kind of going to kind of try to slowly stop here and drop these. We're doing okay. I mean, our damage output is great. Uh, I just got hit a few times there, so now I need to hope that I can make it here to the end. Let's do reload speed. I'm going to go for the weapon. Come on, don't hit me. Okay, we're going to juke these guys right here. We'll take that nine armor. Yeah. Okay, now let's drop our turrets and try to gain some XP here. Some free XP. There's no spitter bugs. There's no flyers. We can definitely get some free XP here. Okay, let's do fire rate. Okay, not bad. We almost got to level. We'll probably hit level 18 here as soon as we as soon as we get one more upgrade. So let's do that. I'm going to do the LMG overload. I'm definitely not going to do three turrets. That's overkill. Uh, we're going to do the fire rate. We'll do mining speed, max HP. I am going to bust the heal because we took a little bit more damage than I wanted to. Let's reroll this. Let's do damage. I would like to get more movement speed, but mining speed works too. Let's do reload. Okay, we're solid. We're we're sitting solid here. Um, I'm gonna go get this meta progression right away. This thing's this thing's always a priority for me. And then there's the the bug too. And I hate that it doesn't pick up though when it rolls out. All right, and here's the hoarder bug. Okay, that time it worked. No, it didn't work. See, he still ran away. I, I sat on top of him. It did the block block for a little bit, but then he did get out. See, this is why I wanted Plasma instead of that one extra turret. Plasma right here would have been so good. Plasma on these turrets is insane. Especially when you get that, LM, that overload. 
Where did that bug go? It was sort of a risk taking, not taking electric, because I do think electric would have been, in hindsight, would have been the better choice, but I wanted to hold out for plasma. But at least we got the turrets follow us around, because I think that is really good for this run. Um, we're going to prioritize coming over here and trying to find that order bug and getting this drop. I don't know where that order bug went to. There's a lot of... Man, look how much resources are sitting here on my map. <laughs> Alright, we're definitely going to do the mocap. We're getting pretty good... I'll admit, we're getting pretty good damage upgrades here. Um, I would prefer that guy not hit me a ton, though. Even though I do get a damage boost. Where did that bug go? Let's do damage. It's really bothering me that I don't know where that order bug went to. Alright, I'm gonna have to get some HP here, I think. Oh, there he is. There's the order bug. Let's do fire rate. All right, I'm not going to worry so much about completing objectives here, especially at this point, since I am almost dead. I'm going to try to get this hoarder bug and my heals up, though. Yeah, we see, we just shred that boss when, <laughs> when we're on him. I do have a lot of mining speed, so let's... Oh, uh, both the bosses are dead. Dang. That means I'm not getting that hoarder bug. Oh, man. All right, let's do damage. We're going to have to mine through here. There's so much XP, too. Those guys, those bosses, I'll admit, they went down way faster than I thought they would. We can get some of this XP. Not all, but I'm not going to risk it because I do think we have a... I think we have a successful run going. Let's do that pickup radius to kind of help a little bit. Get a little bit, tad more XP here. Oh, that last one. Well done. You got them all. <gasps> oh, my God. That was so risky. Well that was so risky. This is a rare treat. <laughs> that was so risky. I should not have done that. Oh, yeah. Let's do max HP. I'm going to heal. I should not have done that with the run we're having. I'm going to buy. Yeah, I'm going to buy this armor. I think we have really good damage, so I'm not going to worry about the damage. And then, uh, okay, well, I'll buy this damage. We'll buy that damage. All right, and let's go. Okay, so here we go. 4-3. We have, man, we have really, really good artifacts here. Um, we basically have 36% extra damage right now. Oh, no, wait, wait. Increases your damage by, yeah, 36. Uh, yeah, th 30, 36 damage. 36% damage on top of our, um, and then on top of our mocap. That's pretty solid. That guy is mission control. He really has a cozy And now we're going to get more damage here. Getting all that extra movement speed, I think, really helped. I wouldn't mind seeing a little bit more, though, because I think if we get a little bit more movement speed, I think we'll be solid. I almost don't want to get too much Nitra, though. I think we'll kind of sit at this Nitra for a little bit now. We did miss out on that Hoarder Bug on the last floor, but... That's life. He got away from me in the beginning of the level, and then I just couldn't find him again. Let's get this on the ground. I always, like, when I'm... When I know I'm kind of struggling a little bit, I do like prepping to get <laughs> to get the heals on the ground so I don't have to mine it. So I can just kind of run right through it, pick up the HP. Boom, baby. So I definitely do like to make sure I'm doing that. Let's get the meta progress stuff just in case. Hell 
I honestly, I, I've kind of been looking at how much we're getting per upgrade. I honestly don't think I need to do this. I think I have plenty of credits to upgrade everything. Based on how far I've gotten everything so far and how much more I need to do. I don't really think it's going to be an issue. And we're only going to do, I know we talked about doing multiple runs. We're just going to do one. I'm just going to do one per, one per video. And maybe I'll just post multiple videos a day if need be. But part of the reason is to, for instance, if we clear this run, um, I just want that to be done. You know, I just want that to be the video. Here is a successful LMG turret run. We cleared it. We beat it. I don't want it to be an LMG successful run and then a failed boomstick run, you know? I think I just wanted to keep each individual video as their own. So that's kind of how we're going to go with this. We're just going to keep each thing separate. And then maybe some days, because these are going to be these are going to be shorter videos. We'll probably post, maybe we post two. I didn't want to do that. I got a little caught up. Um man this one's a tough one because i don't know if this crit one is the best choice now but out of all of these ones 30 percent crit chance 100 percent critical damage that doesn't even get us up to 50 percent crit chance and we take a huge damage decrease i know we get the huge crit i will oh, take it yeah now we're there we go 15 percent damage makes up for some of that I think this would be I think this is still the better choice. I don't do the math behind all these um I don't do the math behind any of these, so I don't know mathematically which one's better, but I'm going to assume it's this one. I think we're doing pretty good. I think we stand a solid chance at killing this boss here. Um, I don't need gold or anything. I think we got really, we got really good artifacts here, too. I don't think we got good overclocks, but I do think we got good artifacts. Uh, the one where they follow me around, okay, that is, that is good. That was one I wanted. Okay, let's do that damage. That makes up for that 30% damage decrease we lost. Now let's see if we have enough DPS and just survivability and movability to outlast this boss I wish he could jump off the edge imagine if he could jump off the edge and just die right there we'll do I don't really think I need more reload speed though but okay I really want to slow down here so I can drop just drop three turrets here at once get big enough lead that didn't work out. Oh, yeah. See, that's why I hate stopping. Let's do damage. We got this, though. As long as I don't mess up and get hit and screw this up. Or get stuck right here. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. Thank you. Okay, I still have to get out of here, though. Oh, come on. What, you seriously are going to put it up there. That is unreal. What a horrible decision that was, game. Okay, we still got this. All right, let's go All right I'm just getting out of here. GG's, we did it. Um, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's do fire rate just to say we got a level 39 weapon. There we go. We did it. Hazard 5, LMG turret successful run officially my first hazard five weapon mastery clear so now we're going to get nine percent damage nine percent reload speed um the way i've noticed how this works too is i do think it's easier doing the upgrades on crystalline caverns especially at this point so i may pick weapons that are on this map and then maybe we'll move to some of the harder maps because doing magma core and hollow balance uh, salt pits are a lot harder than crystalline cavern runs. So we'll see. But that was a successful run. Level 39, 14 million damage. It's, it's hard to tell what good damage is for these runs at the moment. 
I would imagine this is pretty high with the three artifacts we got. We got Pickle Nitra, the mocap, and the crit goggles. So I would imagine that's relatively decent damage for only three fours. But I mean, man, level 39, that's crazy high. So yes, we did it. We cleared our first Hazard 5 weapon mastery run thank you so much for watching i will be doing a series on these we're going to do a video for every single weapon hazard five i'm not going to do any of these offline i will clear hazard three but not hazard five you will witness a clear for every weapon including the worst weapons in the game at some point i don't know when we'll get to those i don't know what order i'm going to do these in i'm going to kind of switch it up but we will get to every single weapon so make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see all that content. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your day.